Uh, I can spare some words. I can mention some things that you said and reinforce them. Like I consider TXT also a platform for personal development through uh, musical expression. But uh, as we are engaging here right now, it is not so difficult. Also about structure, about the uh, human organization, and uh, and that's what uh, connecting with the TXT brought to to my life. Brought structure with uh, other people, on this case it's uh, still a small team that uh, is going to grow <laughs> very well with the uh, help and, uh, and the art vision uh, I believe that uh, artists can benefit from web 3.0 we have some here that uh, are well advantage of that this new way and uh, having a, a structure that is not just uh, company, uh, let's say a machine, but rather a living organism uh, uh, managed by the community and uh, on, on a big nucleus or uh, gradually like uh, Douglas mentioned and, uh, and I think as a vision, uh, I, I also connect with Douglas vision about the musical parties even so I believe that uh, together we are capable of getting closer and doing something that uh, other companies or uh, services uh, are not yet doing. Monster, uh, monster, monster. Sorry, if I spoke it wrongly. <laughs> also gave a, a wonderful input that we should never forget about the metaverses and the integration inside our niche, but. Uh, I believe that the CXT can go way, way further in the main And uh, I believe uh, this is some, some test of possible that is for communication, not just uh, between the structure itself as uh, building or creating itself as we connect every month with others. But also between uh, artists uh, for collaboration, for uh, even classes. Let's say you, you spot an amazing artist in, a, in the platform, and it's so easy to connect with artists because, you know, <laughs> it's easy to connect and watch, and it's a, a, a proper community. So it wouldn't be impossible to set up classes and other uh, real life events. And that my suggestion to inform that uh, yes. I, I have an idea because I live with uh, the musicians, like everyone in, in my house is related to art somehow. So uh, two of the musicians already included the music group ESP. So we, we did like the thing in the past, so we held an uh, house party in the musicians and rappers and everyone inside our house.
and uh, I feel like this is hard for the for the world because not just because of the incentives that uh, went through, but because the world system, I believe, is being constructed and, uh, with a very sustainable and strong rules. So I don't want to be outside looking at this goal. I want to be part of this movement and, uh, and do what I can humbly. <laughs> and that's what I to the next person who showed up, which is Corellia, and you take it away. Okay, thank you. Well, um, I I really value like the sense of community and and to materialize and and, I, and manifest this uh, this sort of energy, right? So. Right now, um, I'm not in a moment of my life that I can live in a community of like I'm, I can learn from or experiment the whole community experience to living with different people and sharing and, and sort of uh, learning together and evolving together. So I think CXC represents like a, a bit of um, uh, something similar that I can start learning from that can also uh, fulfill and, and nurture this sort of this sort of sense of, of collective uh, creation, right? That I can learn uh, in the future if I if if I ever like uh, I'm part of a community, a real community, um, then I can you know uh, I already have something to learn. I can provide and I can um, share my my own my own vision and and, and I think. Even though this is, um, um, it's a, uh, it's, it's not physical, you know. It, it it's still uh, seeing it grow. It, it, it has um, sort of helped me to realize how, what are the steps and sometimes the the, the, the challenges along the way. Um, and yeah, I, I love learning. I love experimenting and, and seeing this these projects um, flourish because this is actually what we need in the world, you know, the, the collective spirit that it, it needs to be awakened, like the best, the best we can, the, the, I don't know if the fast we can, but um, if this spirit is alive, then, you know, then, then, it's, then it's done, that's it. So I'm just like happy because um, I got to see like CXC when it was, uh, a little seed, you know, and I feel like right now it's already like taking his roots down in the earth and like sort of creating and nurturing already from from all the living beings from the from the earth, right? So in terms to in terms to grow, in terms to start flourishing and giving fruit, so um, I'm seeing it as like that, and and what I join or what I'm I'm, I'm part of of this of this group on this community, let's say. Um, it's uh, well, partially because <laughs> Douglas is it's my partner, so we sort of like I feel also driven to to be part of it as well because I, I found it very very meaningful and and as well uh, um, what I mentioned before, you know, I wanna I want to be I wanna learn about communities. I wanna be a part of a community uh, when I become a mother, for example. I wanna be like supported by a group of of people and women and, and, <laughs> and, and kids and all this sort of, sort of stuff, you know, and growing like that. And so, yeah, right now, like, um, I'm kind of like a nomad, I like have a nomadic life, but um, I'm still feeling fulfilled in that aspect by being part of this. We're going to move on, move the talking stick to Dancing Joy. Dan, tell us about your, what is, what excites you with CXC's vision and how you, how you see your vision of a musical world. Okay. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Uh, thank you for the talk uh, um, yeah. Um, so, yeah, thanks for every other conversation. I've been enjoying listening a lot and hearing everything that has to say. And uh, there's a lot of exciting things that we're talking about with CXC. Thank you, uh, Douglas, for putting together a document. There's a lot of, like, uh, Really great ideas there, and really great um, like goals and missions, and, and lots of missions and so forth about creating a musical world and empowering people and empowering people squared and so forth. So thank you uh, for that, and, and just 
discussions uh, that we've been having. And yeah, I'm super excited about making a, uh, I mean, the world is great, is already very musical in some ways. Like sometimes I like, think of like, I'm one song, like everything is music. So maybe it already is a very musical world already in some ways. And also there's uh, a lot of lack of music too, like a lot of places where we can make more music, make better music. There could be so much more music, like I think Munster and was talking about how like the current web two music system is like they don't really enable most musicians to flourish because of economics and middlemen and stuff like that and stuff. So we can make a much more musical world that's much more musical than ever with what we're doing with CXC and with web three and blockchain and all these different things. Uh, also just communities like like Harel, yeah. That's it, right? Just talking about it. I probably didn't say wrong, sorry. Um, but uh, and, and having me come together. So, yeah, thank God. I'll also keep present. We will move the talking stick to Munster Vision and Baby. Say hi. Hello. Hello. Hi, Cora. Um, hi, Cora. So, man, I'll segue right off of what you were just saying, Douglas. Uh, we're all harmonies. We're all sine waves. Like, we are literally all vibrations. So to say that we are all musical beings is absolutely true. And I think about the fact of like sacred geometry and like Metatron's cube and the epicenter there within and like you just mentioned, you know, being the epicenter of sound, like we are all that. And so when we harmonize together through a focal point, CFD being focal point here in my example, um, when we vibrate on that level, we're all much more in tune. And so that that isn't a word to be used lightly in this context, only because we're speaking musically. So like when we're in harmony and we're in tune, these are musical terms to represent balance or uh, co-creation or like a, a stable line, if you will, um, in, in like the same moment that occurs in time. So that's just unique in itself. So I think CXC provides that um, point of harmony uh, as a pivot point especially when we have these movements, the you know, more villagers we can get on board and the more people we have showing up to these spaces. Um, and obviously like doing something like this in Twitter spaces would be very uh, open forum. We could invite people up to speak as, as needed and pass the talking stick and, you know, even call it like the talking stick as like the Twitter space, you know, and like have uh, them up and just like join in in the communion there. And that's how we are the culture group and that's how we create the pillar. Or totem in my framework of thought um, or epistemology. Um, but so like tying that into CXC, what what I think we fail to maybe stress on the people enough, and I try to do it the best I can when I'm talking about it, is that it's an entire artist development platform to help segue the legacy artist into the future. We're architecting the future together, like all of us collectively. So as a villager, as a tribe member, as a senior tribe member, as a shaman, whatever, we're all collectively like ushering our stuff in the future. So CXC acts as a pivot point and acts as a development platform that maybe just isn't fully utilized yet. And all I need to say with that is we could be taking people that are open to it with maybe just a simple clicker. You know, Doug, you're so great at code and you're so good at creating an under hood solution that people wouldn't even know what they're doing necessarily. What I mean to say is what I'm getting at is if you had an artist opting into a certain clicker when they're uploading their music that says, yes, I want to allow mint on demand functionality, mm -hmm. you could work something into the atomic asset, mint asset call that people could mint their songs directly at that point as a mint on demand <clears throat> NFT. And using that promo code function that Wax Wallet came out with when they realized they created a debacle with the five Wax requirement, you know, maybe there's some anchor wallets we can set up or a way to front load based on community support or like a community scrape uh, based on this initiative, X amount of revenue from sales goes back to front load future wallet build. Mm. What I'm suggesting okay. is we could create an entire experience to get a uh, web 2.0 into a web 3.0 wax musician through CXC as the incubation point and portal, all with a simple couple button clicks and email confirmation. I mean, that's really all it would take. A uh, caveat to while we're talking about this, the last bit I wanted to suggest is on the in real life scenario is using the merch. Say there's a CXC merch booth or a, a CXC artist is performing and they have merchandise. 
we can easily put a QR code that takes them to this front loaded um, splash or environment that you build out that they scan the QR code, they claim the NFT, and then it walks them through the confirmation of the wallet creation that we've already front loaded for them. And so you have a fan that sees a musician, they buy the shirt, <clears throat> or they buy the CD or the record, <clears throat> and all of a sudden there's an added benefit of a QR code that's gonna take them into the NFT collectible space, and they now have become an NFT collector, but by being a fan first.